any footballer. And there it is, perfectly executed. In it goes. He had to score, and he does. And he steps up to take his penalty. And confidently converted. His turn to try to convert from the spot. Clinical, as always, in front of goal. Job done from the spot. And he steps up to take the shot. And he's denied them from the spot. And he scores. And so the tension levels have been ratcheted up to full blast. And straight down the middle. Can he convert? Goalkeeper beaten from the spot. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. Composure is so important under these trying circumstances. And it's gone in. And he's beaten the keeper. Can he remain calm? And the keeper denies them from the spot. Well, this could be the one. Oh, a superb save. So lethal in front of goal. Mental preparation is such a big part of this. And the penalty converts it here. Can he keep us cool? And there it is, perfectly executed. In it goes. And he's been denied from the spot by the post. And now he knows what's on the line. If he scores, they win. And the keeper makes the all-important save. What a big moment. He had to score, and he does. And up he comes, doing his best to remain focused. And confidently converted. Can he get the better of the keeper? And that is when you need your goalkeeper. It comes down to this. A goal and they win the game.
Well, what an end into a very good tournament, and I think they fully deserve to win it. Maybe not in this manner, though, but it was great entertainment. It certainly was, and they're not going to forget this in a hurry. A proud moment for everyone involved with the club, but for their opponents, it's a case of trying to forget and move on as quickly as possible. Well, I think we should give them some credit, too. They played their part in what was an excellent contest. Some of their football was brilliant. Yes, fair play, Stuart. The party in full swing now. It's going to be quite the night of celebration here. Argentina, world champions! They did it in 1978 and 1986. They've done it again in 2022, Stuart. Well, this is the pinnacle of any footballer's career and what a night it's been for these players and the coaching staff and, of course, the fans.